Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is uh, Snarling Urn part 11. Last episode we killed some elves and we had some problems with the mayor. Or the baron who is still running around babbling I think. Yep, he is. Oh well, um, now we're going to move on and that's something I should probably should have done last episode is try and claim here. Yeah, there's still some tiles here with elf stuff on them, yeah. Elf clothes, probably. Oh, this is probably where his foot landed last episode. Um, so let's claim all everything here. And um, everything which in the stockpile should be dragged out one day. There's so much orders going on. Still, there's 11 islers though. Where are all the islers? A lot of them are forgers. Uh, let's try and fix that. Um, although there's not much iron lying around here. Um, so tetrahedrite, tetrahedrite, galena, silver, gold, tetrahedrite, wheelbarrows everywhere. Well, let's give some orders anyway. Um, gold, uh, silver, galena, trailerite, so, and ardum. Um, tetrahedrite, worn silver. And make bronze, and I can do at the moment. Okay, um. Well, that will work out for now. That helps a little bit with the idlers. Um. Also. I, I, I wanted to look at the planter which lost his leg, or, well, he, he fell in the first episode. Um. Let's try and find him and look at his health information. Should be one of these two guys, planter or I think it was farmer. Let's take a look at him. If I um, Z him, yeah, he was the. What the hell? He killed 16 trolls? A planter which has killed 16 trolls? This must be a vampire. This is. This is a lucky find. What? He's also married to the jeweler. Um, been very happy. Let's see when. What is his stats? Um, a member of the Relieved Gold, former member of the Rosie Pages, former member of the Problematic Diamonds. Which I has arrived at his place at that time. 136 years old. It's a very old one. Huh. Well, if I ever get a vampire here, then this would be a possible one. You know what? We're going to... Well, not change your name then. Um, let's change your profession so we'll be able to find you. Um, to vampire. <laughs> That's your profession name. I can press the help menu at any time. Hey, your nickname is Farmer and your profession is Vampire, but you're probably not a vampire, but let's name you that, but 16 trolls, well, how the hell did he do that? And Poison Starve isn't my fortress also, so who knows. Um, so anyway, it's probably not this Farmer. Um, let's see. Also, Tem Forger is drinking, he sh should be all building other stuff. Uh, planter then. I, th I think the guy which I was thinking about had one goblin kill. Yes, this dude. Also, here's Irma. Say hello, Irma. Oh. Irma wants attention, but we're recording a video, Irma. Um, so, back to the game. Let's look at this guy's health. He should have had uh, medical history, right? Apparently not. Irma, I'm very busy. <laughs> Um, I guess this wasn't the planter which was hurt in the beginning. Um, who else might that be, though? Maybe, maybe a butcher or bone carver. Maybe butcher the broker. Uh, let's take a look at you. Uh, do you have any health history? No. Can I maybe check it using the Z menu here? If I go to health, 
Um, there's a cat which is fainting. Fuck that. Um, a rooster with his pal. What, what the hell does pal mean? Pale. A pale rooster. Well, that doesn't matter at all. Um, there should have been one dude which had problems. He wasn't a gem setter. Hmm. Me on the Essex screen. Well, hard to see then. Maybe the, the middle his medical history is wiped anyway, since it was very long ago and by now. This is episode 11, and then it was like an episode 2, and. Well, maybe it was fixed in 7 or 8 or something, but... Oh well, um... Uh, maybe I could look at the other uh, videos and find out which dwarf that he was exactly. Maybe I'll do that. One second. Okay, it looked at an old video, and he might be also named Jeweler. A uh, jeweler, or a planter, or maybe even a brewer. Um, so let's look at a jeweler first. He probably, probably this dude, jeweler. Um, if I Z H him, no medical history. No. There was um, the old brewer because I've probably renamed him a couple of times already. Uh, let's take a look at the brewers then. Uh, you? No? No. And yeah, I've probably put in some new brewers by now as well, since I caught some ones with higher skill levels. I may have should forget about this. One of you will, uh, will probably comment about which dwarves is the one which was hurt in the past. And you'll probably be able to find it easier than I can at the moment. Um, how about otherwise a broker? No. I, I know Dim's name probably at one point. And then. Now he could be anything really. <laughs> um. It could be anything. Um. Hello, I should have some names here. Maybe a planter Konosmeban. Because I think he was a planter back then. Um No. No, he was named Kolkado. Asmel Kolkado. Uh, Asmel Kolkado before he got hurt. So I should look for a Kolkado in this list like this dude. Which is a planter without a name. Huh, that's probably him. Um, there we go. Okay, um, let's rename him so we can find him again. Um, uh, his name is Falling Victim. <laughs> okay, um, and uh, let's look at his health again. So, what happened? In the, the second of Malachite, he was brought to a bed by the pump operator, then a bone doctor did something, received a splint on left lower leg, received a cave spider silk dressing on left lower leg, by a marks as well, and it was cleaned, evaluated, has left lower leg set, evaluated, received cave spider silk sutures on left lower leg, and we brought through rest. And, uh, well, it looks like he's fine now. Um, let's press enter. Nothing really bad on this screen anymore either. Nothing like a broken leg should show on here. And he's been ecstatic lately. Um, other things we can see about this dwarf. Well, he also has a DT. Oof, with a lot of information. And the LPT taking films of real dwarves. Associated with war and fortresses. Mid autumn of 13, I got cursed. Met booth trade ship trade dipped to assume the form of a cavey like monster every full moon. 
Okay, I guess we're going rare caves in the future. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> so, yeah, if we ever get a rare cave, -y, that's probably because of that our god did that. Um, anyway, other things like wounds. Wound screen here is clean. So falling victim now is perfectly fine and has resumed his planting jobs. Huh. Okay, well, that's nice to know. It worked at least also. Well, this is elf stuff. Um, what's happening? Oh, there's a mood going on at the same time. And someone's claimed the forge. Well, let's let you do that. You are an armorer. Uh, well, maybe we'll get some... Well, he already should have great skills. So these... Should have other jobs by now. Isn't the bronze shield order working yet on these other workshops? No. Huh. Um. So did he start this construction yet? No. Do you need anything yet? You must have bones. You must have rock. You must have metal bars. Rock. Cut gems. Logs. Whoa. He wants a lot. Boned. Um, well, let's see if I have some cut gems in the moment. I keep engraving them, so it might be out. Um, should have some. Let's cut them anyway. And yeah, he's probably being stuck in the burrow, but that shouldn't fix uh, For a moody, he should walk out himself. Uh, that's one of the bu sort of bugs, but actually that's a pretty good thing if you ask me of Dwarf Fortress. Um, doesn't seem like he's doing much though. Must have cut gems, logs. I have cut gems, I have logs, I have bones. I have rock. I have metal bars. Hmm. Or maybe, maybe I should bring all the stuff down here. Hmm, this seems like a problem. Um, yeah, if I don't do anything about it, he'll just go mad. And he is an armor, so I don't want him to get mad. You know what? Easier fix would be just leave, get him out of the burrow for now. Um, let's rename him, since I have two armors. Let's call him Armor, uh, armor, armor Mood. Armor mad even. Now I'll be able to find him. Uh, now if I go to Deep Virgin Burrow, in here somewhere should be Armor mad. Yeah, there he is. Let's remove him from the burrow. And the problem is solved. So they don't automatically lose the burrow, lose the, the leave the burrow anymore. Also looks like Temp Forger is finally done with all those other things. Nice. Um. Was that a cloud of soot? Yes, a cloud of soot. Okay, um... So other things, like... All this shit which is still in the trade depot. <laughs> like all this. Maybe... I need to claim it? Just bees here? What do the bees stand for? Mm -hmm. No idea, but... All this stuff, they need to get it. And we move it to the appropriate stockpiles. But I don't seem to want to do that. Or maybe is the cloth stockpile is full? Oh, the cloth stockpile seems full indeed. You know what? Let's have an alternate stockpile. Also, another cloud of soot. Yeah. Um, let's make an alternate giant stockpile. Um, I think, yeah, we have another clear level like this, or multiples probably. This one, yeah. Um, let's make a big one with cloth and other types of good. No, let's um, make it bigger. Okay, that's pretty big. Let's uh, remove the center so we can see the stairs normally. Um, you know what? You can also store leather. You can also store... Uh, some bar blocks, maybe. I'll disable that for now. Because I wanted the bar blocks, the iron still to be brought down. 
which is not happening. Um, other things, uh, ammo, I don't, uh, I got a special ammo stockpile. Could use some coins, which I don't usually get anyway. Uh, I do have a weapon trap and armor stockpiles. Maybe some more goods in here, yeah. But no stone goods, no bone goods. Um, other things can go in here. Um, so I'm missing up some other stockpiles, like the bag stockpile. Let's forget about goods. Let's have you be a leather and cloth stockpile. Also, I should look one day in why the iron isn't being brought down. I also this this stockpile isn't even full yet. It's finished good stockpile. Uh, what else is in this stockpile? Coins and no finished goods. Oh, coins are gonna get out of this one. And this one is I've set to the other way. Okay, weird. Um Because last time I remember I also had problems bringing crafts to the surface. To uh, the trade depot, but well, I guess we'll check that next time. Also, let's give an order for more goods here, uh, more bone stuffs. Got to use all that bone and bone bolts after that. These dudes are still making rock pots and rock crafts, and that should work out finally as well. Yeah, okay. Um, well, this seems to all run fine. So digging here is moving along. Um, let's try and finish the top part of the channels here. Like that. And here they can also channel out a little bit more. There were probably were trees on the tiles before this. Okay, um, since uh, I need those multiple parts. Um, yeah. Other things like uh, soap maker, how are you doing? Are you actually doing something now? Yes, you're creating ash. Looks like you've created some lye as well. Then, no. No order for soap yet. Let's give another order for lye here. These bars are still here as well. I don't think the stockpile here is big enough. Yeah, that's probably it. Let's make another bar box block stockpile. A big one. Uh, here. Two here. And let's make this one... Well, only metals. Yeah. That should help and maybe now all the... All the iron will be brought downwards. Um... Okay. Oh, and I never set these two rooms. Um, yeah. Let's do that. Let's make this a sleeping room. Uh, with some okay-ish beds in it. It's pretty damn good bed beds, actually. And let's make the left one. Probably have an armor stand or two left. Yeah, or coffers. And two armor stands. Wait a minute, I should save those for my nobles. Um, let's put some random coffers in and make a room out of that. And a door. There we go. And we can set that to be their sleeping and equipment rooms. Um, Works also. Miner here is being. That's well, probably babbling guy, isn't it? Yeah, he is. Our babbling baron. Um. But I think we're pretty much done. Quite setting, quite in game settings at the moment, and probably should do a pause again. Um. Yeah, dwarves are doing stupid to win again with these things, but um. 
Yeah, I can't think of anything at the moment, so we'll just pause until something interesting happens. Oh, and while I'm back doing a uh, offline, or <laughs> not recording, I'll go start set up some multiple mobile levels here. So, see you guys in a second. Hey, I got a new wave of migrants in. That's nice. Um, also, in the meanwhile, I set uh, the Baron's room, the babbling Baron's room, to the Mayor's room. Also, the Mayor was apparently a Marx war, so uh, what I forgot was to take him out of one of the Marx squads. Um, oh, he already was out. He was just named a Marx. Okay, so that's the Mayor set, but uh, having a new wave of migrants is very nice. Since uh, I have a lot of hauling jobs at the moment, all those bar blocks will need to be hauled all the way down, and these new idiots can help with that. Um, let's see how big of a wave we get, by the way. Should be a pretty, pretty big one. Or actually, Dwarf Therapist will probably be able to tell me that. Um, I already had it here. Uh, 30 in this wave. Huh. Does it look like 30? Uh, oh, there's no, no nickname. Uh, migration wave 15. Oh, but I also might have said the dwarf therapist did not show children anymore, I think. Probably done that some way in the past, which I've forgotten. I think. Yeah, don't display children or babies. Uh, it's what something I've put on and my throat is dying. Okay, so uh, yeah, I put this option on so you don't see children in this list anymore, so it becomes a whole lot easier to manage them. Um, in this new wave, let's take a look at them while we're at it. There's a new woodcutter, a new mason with very high levels, that's very good. Uh, also, gotta think about those things. Are there any brewers? No. Are there any cooks? Yes, not anymore. Fishers also is are forbidden. A fortress also. A furnace operator here is fine. Uh, other dudes. Another good leather crafter slash bone carver slash glass maker and a wood crafter. Um, wood crafter is not that important anymore but you should be named that at least and I think bone carving is more important. Um, let's call you Bone Carver. You can do leather working on the side since you're pretty skilled in both. Uh, let's commit those changes. Um, the other idiots, now there's no hunters at the moment, that's good. I should have my own personal hunter, or one which is set pretty good. Um, other small skills like. Um, Farming is something where there's a lot of idiots in it here too, and while I do have some very good farmers, let's check that. Um, let's set this to nothing. And there goes my throat again. Okay, that's better. Um, so, yeah, where was I? Farming. Yeah, lots of dude dudes should not be farming. Um, because I have my own dedicated farmers here. Falling victim can stay a farmer, that's the only thing he does. Yeah, you guys, you are not my farmers, so gotta check that as well. Farmers, brewers, and cooks, I want special. Uh, I think I'm pretty good qua uh, doctors as well. Hunting is an important thing, but it should be all for most people. I have my own hunter, and well, marks can hunt. Armor shouldn't hunt. That's fine. Um, okay, let's go back to migration wave. Um, actually, since there's a name in there as well, let's go back to it has a nickname. So that's the way I sort them. Um, new guys. There's um, a couple in here. Um, should think a couple of a couple of things. Okay. First of all. Uh, well, I want most of them to just be holding for now. Uh, but I was thinking of something. What was I thinking about? I needed some other dwarves to do something. But I forgot. <laughs> All these pauses with my throat dying doesn't help. But well, here they come. Um, so I could probably use some more 
bins as well. Um, yeah, but I'm also creating beds. Yeah, the first let's create some more beds. Who? Yeah, uh, let's keep them on beds for now. And um, haven't I gotten a turkey uh, wave yet? There's still only two turkeys in here. Well, I have of chickens, and my chickens have grown by now. Uh, let's take a look at the egg stockpile. Um, this is which one? When is the egg stockpile again? This one, I think. Yeah, no, this is the fat stockpile. This would be the egg stockpile. Yes, it is. Turkey hen eggs are removed here, right? Yeah, they are. So why are there still no turkeys yet? There are there are turkeys in here. Or maybe there's a stray turkey gobbler, a turkey hen, a stray turkey hen. Huh. Weird. Maybe the turkey gobbler is sick or something. And because of that he won't reprodu reproduce or something. I don't know. Also, there's still that one very small dormitory and eating room here. And that shouldn't happen anymore. No. Those get will get removed since I have a normal dormitory and uh, dining room up and running so that'll work out um, also here well they're still placing all the things I ordered to be placed in here um, oh that's what I needed I needed a bookkeeper so let's set that uh, I don't think there's anyone with skill yet nope there's no one with skill uh, so we get some random dude from the new waves who can be a bookkeeper. Um, like Mr. here with some skills, like milking skills. You, you're going to be our bookkeeper. Um, set name to bookkeeper. And you can be relieved from hauling to do bookkeeping duties. There you go. Okay, then here, you should be somewhere in the bottom, yes you are, all the dwarves, uh, broker is the butcher, which is the broker, well that can work out, um, chief medical dwarf is the suture, manager is the manager, hammer, I'll probably should set someone as a manager as well, someone without any skills, some any, any hammer skills, uh, should you go to the military, um, find one of these dudes without any hammer skills. Like, uh, this dude is pretty useless. He has no military skills at all. You are now the hammerer. Okay. Um, it should have said that anyway. So, he should show up somewhere here. Maybe refresh for a second. Did I... I didn't push my changes. That would be why. Um, now here he should be able to set that. Um, hammerer, here he is. Hammerer the dyer. That's everything set. Okay. Uh, also, I saw an unhappy dwarf. Yeah, how's the Baron? <laughs> He's still unhappy. Yeah, Baron, uh, you run out babbling. If you ever get to your senses, then we might do something else. But. You probably won't come to your senses, but that's okay as well. <laughs> Don't really mind having a babbling bearing running around. Um, and uh, smoothing and stuff like that is also happening on this level. But that's fine. Um, that's the, bo the bookkeeper separate, but the bookkeeper also needs his own noble room, but that will need to wait until this is done. Um, also, whose room was this, by the way? No one? Okay, well then you can be the bookkeeper's room for now. Um, bookkeeper, bookkeeper, bookkeeper. Oh, and also build some extra beds in here, um, which I really should set with low quality doors, since this is nor rooms for normal dwarves. Not that much bedrooms, but well, most of my dwarves can just sleep in the dormitory. 
they don't really mind that much. They'd be happier if they'd have rooms like this, or rooms like the nobles, but that's for good dwarves, for... Oh, fucked up this one, I think. No, it's okay. Also, I said this one on the left side, but... Uh, yeah. That should work. Um... Okay, that's a lot of work done already with this new migrant wave, and the rest of them should just stay hauling for now. And that'll clear up some things. Oh, and he has been done, Ar Armor and Mad. Uh, you've created some zinc chain leggings. Well, let's take a look at that. Some zinc leggings. With, uh, which is decorated with mango wood, encircled with bands of oval sphalerite cabochons. Gems, some cut sphalerites. Uh oh. Uh, anyway, mahogany, uh, also rectangular granite cabochons. Okay, he's probably cutting them in cell or something. Object with managers with spikes of zinc and wolverine bone. The atom is an image of a wave in clear tourmaline. Great. Um, now you're done with that, you can go back into the deep verging bureau. Um, the deep verging bureau, uh, armor mad. It should be somewhere near here, I think. Um, where are you, Armor Mad? Here you are. You're back into the Deep Verging Bureau. Okay. And, uh, how is your managing job coming? Since it should be making bronze armor. Still at 10 out of 15. Hmm. The manager is managing, right? Um, let's take a look at that. Manager is managing work orders, yeah. So why hasn't the job to create more bronze armors gone to the other bronze, the other magma forges? I have no idea. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, otherwise, how are things up here? Still being dug out, and still trees being cut out here, um, but the top path seems pretty much done. Okay, let's make this a little bit clearer here at least. Um, also, yeah, need a path for the, uh, the wagons to come, although the wagons can come from the left side over here. Um, but uh, let's do make a trapway already. Yeah, to that we're going to remove a whole lot of these stairs. Uh, the inner row of stairs, that's how I like to do it nowadays. So no one can get to this level. Or this side even. <gasps> oh fuck! Yeah. This is uh, a in way into my fortress. Oh, I'm lucky that I find this now before the sieges happen. <laughs> Um, yeah, this was the path which I used to dig out some exploratory paths. And that's a way into my fortress. Um, but it should be easy enough to close this off if I just place something here. Then this should be closed off. Okay. Um, oh man. This could have been gone terrible if I had uh, not find this before a siege to happen. Um, okay, move the, all those tiles. Um, this will work for now. And on the level above that, let's build some floors. Like uh, this. This will work out. Um, some blocks. Some uh, I don't have enough blocks at the moment. Well, let's make it out of wood, and I have enough wood as well. 99 rubber, rubber wood logs. And can use that to funnel all these areas uh, here as well. Some more rubber wood. Here at the bottom. And I'll place traps over these, and I'll also need an extra bridge so my... the... the merchants can keep coming inside. Because if I trap these, the merchants won't go over traps anymore like they used to do in the past. So I'll need an extra way in. And these things will be filled with traps. Um, 
Where's Ruby Wood now? Oh, it's over there. Um, that should work out for now. And a bridge. Let's build a bridge here in the middle. This will be the extra bridge for the merchants. Let's make it out of something. Not out of iron. Uh, something with a little bit of color, maybe. Mortal claws is yellow. Don't have any green stuff, I think, yet. New. No. I made a blue one and a yellow one. Uh, let's make it a wooden bridge. A mango wood log bridge. Yeah. Okay, and I'll need to hook up that lever. That can wait. For now, I think we're going back to waiting again, since it'll take a long time for something interesting to happen. Yeah, it will. Okay, see you guys in a second. Okay, the moment I press pause, we fi I find a goblin here, so I would have find out, found out now anyway, or maybe there's an ambush coming. If there is, I might be screwed. Uh, well, let's send the military to kill this goblin. Oh, he's fled into the mines. He's trying to kill someone. The bastard is trying to steal something from my uh, mason over here. And here come the military. Uh, they should at least... Where did the goblin go? Is he dead already? Let's check. I think he's dead already. Otherwise he should be here on the other squeeze. Also, what's a sea among? She among an ape, okay, sort of monkey ape thing. Otherwise, also, what's a hornbill? Some sort of bird, a tiny bird with a more multicolored bill. Really in a jungle over here. Um, also, the order has stopped, so yeah, the goblin must be dead. The, this pass, oh, it's already closed now, okay, so no one should be able to get in using this way. Yeah, and they can get into these lower paths, but they don't have anything to search over here. Um, and the walls are... ramps are being removed at least. Okay. Um, this all seems fine. Okay, well, that was the do done, and uh, it's pausing time yet again. Oh, I just thought of something. I'm making a lot of wood platforms outside here, and that will take a while, but my one carpenter at the moment. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, my one uh, carpenter, the very good carpenter I have here, the high skilled one. Um, but so uh, let's change that. He is a very good carpenter. He is a legendary plus five carpenter. So. I want extra carpenters, but I don't want them to build beds, so we're going to change all these carpentry workshops. I'm going to change you all to a minimum of a legendary, or, well, Grandmaster will be fine. You as well. Grandmaster, you. Grandmaster, you. Grandmaster, you know what? We won't need that fifth carpentry workshop. Okay, now that said, other random carpenters shouldn't be able to use carpentry. And now some of you new guys, uh, you useless. Yeah, do everything guys can be carpenters to help things along. Although, maybe not the woodcutter. You know what? I like having an extra woodcutter in. Probably have three woodcutters about now, but he's a skilled one, so that's okay. So you get the name. Uh, some of the other dudes are now also carpenters, and they should speed things up a whole lot. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you, and now we're going to go back to pausing. Or, well, stopping the recording for a second. Uh. And a human caravan has arrived. Well, that's uh, that's okay, the Yumis are Yumis, and not really that bad of a problem. And they usually they aren't as... Um, Pickiest that the elves can be with trading, so let's trade some stuff with them. Let's see if that weird thing where I couldn't bring my crafts up. Hmm. It's still here, and it looks like it is. Like, I have multiple bins of of crafts here. I should have 
lots of crafts here. Bracelets. I have like six or seven bins of high quality crafts alone. And then there's the, uh, the low quality ones. Why can I only select four of those crafts bins? Um, whatever. Weird. Um, or only five of those. But well, let's let's drag these in here anyway. But yeah, weird. And I don't get why it's not showing most of those things. Maybe do a claim on this level? No. Uh, how about I do a forbid and a claim on this level? That's what I suppose should have helped with when I lost that pick. Uh, what if I go back to this level again and now move, try move crafts? Uh, there's a couple extra things. Huh. How about if I do the same on this level? I forbid this, all this stuff. Wait a second. Now I claim all this stuff. Maybe now all the iron will be finally be brought down? Who knows? Oh well, um, if that's something you know, please tell me, because I have no idea why when they're not moving the crafts, or not moving all the crafts, because they should. <laughs> but, um, yeah, tell me that. Uh, also, well, this is pretty much done. Uh, let's request that the trader actually go here. And, um, well, I can do the trading off screen. I'll do um, trading with the Yumi's uh, between videos. And, um,. Let's so see so we're at 40 minutes already. So oh fuck, sorry, touch your mic. Um So uh what was I going to say? I'm going to do this between the videos, you don't need to see another trading again. You've seen more uh, more than enough of those. And um we'll end the video here. Um uh, so uh, next time hopefully some interesting stuff will happen. We should really be getting some coupling ambushes soon. Especially if we start trading lots of stuff with the Yumis, if, uh, I'll sell them as much as possible. But um, well, that's something for the future. Um, I can't think of anything else to, to talk about at the moment, so I guess I'll see you guys later.